Um, I had a purpose to this video because I wanted to film this video last night to talk about my favorite movie out right now, Cats. Cats 2019. Um, I saw it Monday morning. I saw the first showing that morning. It was a matinee at 10.45. I woke up and I got here at 10.45 to watch Cats because what? It is a great movie. One of the posters at the theater for Cats said it is the most joyous movie of the holiday season. They were 100% right. Every single person who says it's a bad movie, you know, no. You all cannot see past the surface level because the biggest thing that people have with the movie is that like, oh, it looks bad or oh, the plot doesn't make any sense. And if you can't get past the fact that they look weird, then that's on you. If you can't get past the looks of the thing and look past that and see the wonderful music and story, then like, I don't want to fuck with you. Because yeah, sure, they look weird. Yeah, sure, after they saw the backlash for Sonic, they should have been like, we shouldn't put this movie out. But still, the movie is great. <laughs> It is so lovely and filled with so much joy. Cats is a great movie. It doesn't make any sense, but that's like not the fault of the movie. That's just the story of Cats. It's based off a musical and the musical plot doesn't make any sense. So if you have an issue with the plot, take it up with Andrew Lloyd Webber. It is not the movie's fault. We're gonna get into some heavy spoilers. So if you like for some reason are watching this because you care about not getting spoiled about the Cats movie, then like don't watch it, just know that I love it and that you should go see it and it will fill you with so much joy that you will not regret watching that movie. As long as you're not shallow and can get past the fact that they just look weird, it's fine. People just look weird. That's just how people are. But anyways, the movie is so weird. It doesn't give you any sort of plot or like explanation into like understanding what the hell's going on except for the fact that, you know, there's a Jellicle ball and like everyone gets to sing about why they deserve to like go to the Jellicle ball in the sky. And then Judy Dench is there and she's like, I'm going to name the Jellicle cat. And it's just so good. Like Jellicle cat, the, like the second song in the movie. It's so wild and I don't understand it, but like the music is beautiful. And just like watching and looking at it, like it, it tickles you with how whimsical and how weird it is. And it just, it brings you so much joy. You cannot tell me that you can look at Jason Derulo playing Rum Tum Tucker and, and you aren't just filled with like a giddy sense of glee. Like it's just, it's so fun to watch. And it's also a really riveting story. Despite cats not having like any plot and because the whole plot is basically just them like introducing themselves, you don't get like any development on any of the characters. So you don't really know who to like root for except for like Jennifer Hudson because all she does is like cry and you feel bad for her because she has multiple songs. But you know who I was fucking rooting for? Mr. Mistopheles, the magical cat, because he had a whole number that was filled with emotion. Because like, I, I've never seen the musical. I feel like that is very important for me to say is that I don't have anything to like compare it to and therefore be disappointed about because I don't have any standards for this movie. I just wanted, wanting to enjoy it and I did. But Mr. Mistopheles, already just the sweetest boy. You can tell from the whole movie, he's just the sweetest boy. And then Idris Elba wants to Thanos snap Judy Dench. And then everyone's like, Mr. Mistopheles, he could do magic, he could bring her back. And then he knows that he can't do it. And throughout like his whole song, which is, by the way, an absolute fucking banger. And I've listened to it, like the movie version, like probably 30 times since I've seen it, because I just absolutely adore that song. But that scene is filled with so much emotion because every time he tries to bring her back and it doesn't work until one time it does and you are filled with so much elation because you were rooting for him through that whole song. You wanted him to do the magic and bring her back. I bet he fucking did. Like, you don't root for anyone else because you don't get to know them, but they did that. In that short, like, five-minute song for Mr. Mistopheles, they made you love him, and they made you root for him, and then they don't send him. And he's not the Jellicle Cat, it's Jennifer Hudson, because all she did was cry. It made me mad. But the show just has such good songs. I do feel like there is too much dancing. Because it's not like people where you watch them and you're like, wow, and it's not live. I feel like dancing is only really cool if it's, like, live, and you're like, oh, they did that in one take. Because, like... Sure, anyone can dance if it's like recorded. So like, just like watching weird CGI people, cats like dance, it's not that interesting. I feel like the whole musical of cats is like really dance heavy. So they had to like put that in the movie, but they really didn't cause it was boring. I really feel like this movie needed to be like one of those Fox like live things, like what they did for Grease or what they did for Hairspray where it's like, oh, they did it live, but they did it on TV. So it's like kind of mainstream, but like not really, but like, I don't feel like this needed a major motion picture, but thank you Universal for doing it anyways, because I, 
love Mr. Mistopheles, the magical cat. I love him. And there are people that are just like walking out of cats because they're like, it's just weird and I don't get it. I'm like, that doesn't, that, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get it to be entertained. Absurdist theater has existed for like years. Like you, you just need to like it. You just need to be like, oh, I don't understand. But like these cats look silly and I get the jokes that they make and like, oh, I like the song and I'm filled with joy. That's all you need. People just are afraid of things that they don't understand, which is why I feel like nobody likes cats because they're, it's not like attractive. No one likes how they look and no one gets it. And so they're confused, so they're scared, so they're like, they don't like it. But people like me who love to be frightened and confused, beautiful fucking movie. But apparently they're coming out with like a new version where they redo the CGI. I don't know how I feel about that. But like, Cats is a great movie. I highly recommend everybody see it and everybody go in not wanting to like hate watch it but like genuinely wanting to enjoy it because it is a joyful experience like people are just going to go watch it to be like haha that movie was stupid but like it's actually a good movie cats is like a genuinely good movie do i feel like they needed to produce it in that fashion no because from what i've seen behind the scenes like they just sort of put them in motion capture suits and made them actually like just do it on like a giant stage which i don't think it was the way to go because you could clearly see that like some of them are just like wearing shoes and they all have like human hands and it's like weird. I don't think that was the way to go, but like the movie itself is an enjoyable experience, especially now when like all these movies want to be like serious and relevant and therefore like sad. Their marketing of being the most joyful movie of the holiday season is 100% correct. It's all that you need when you're just like, oh, life is sad and life is awful and the decade's ending and nothing is good and nothing is going right. You need to watch Cats and just have a fun time. That's all that you need. Get yourself some nice movie snacks, get yourself some candy and some like soda or an ice cream or an icy and just like enjoy your life for like two hours. It's so good. It really gives your brain so much serotonin. Oh my God, it's just, it's the perfect experience to just have fun. I recommend everyone see it. People are like, oh, it's bad, so I'm not gonna see it. Like things don't need to be good for you to enjoy them. I'm just so done with people being like, thinking that they're better because they only like good things. Think, no, put on your clown outfit and just have some fun, okay? Cats is fun, cats is a fun time. Going to see cats is a fun time. And that's all that you really want. Go see cats, go have fun. Go to like a nice matinee, go to like a matinee so it's like not expensive. If you wanna go see it for like a good $8 at like a nice matinee, like go have a nice quick breakfast or brunch and then go see cats, it will literally make your day so good. It is a joyous experience. I left that theater filled with so much joy. I don't care about all these people making these reviews being like, oh, cats look stupid and weird and I don't like it and like it's a bad movie. It's not. Good and bad are subjective, but this movie at the end of the day will make you happy. And that's all we want. That's all we need. Also watch Knives Out. Knives Out has the same thing where it's just, it's just there to make you happy. But watch Cats. Cats, Cats is great. I'm not gonna hear a single word about how it's bad. Like it doesn't matter. We're not here to watch highbrow cinema, okay? We're simple working class Americans just here to have a good time. We are truly not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. You know what is a good time? Watching cats. And the whole song for Taylor Swift is singing about McCavity, the mystery cat. That song was a banger. That song slaps. Never was there ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles. There truly wasn't. 